Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. Weather pattern change in the next weather maker showing up on Friday that has some concerns for new fire starts. So there's a fire weather watch out Friday afternoon into Friday evening across much of southwestern and central Montana. And it stems from, well, some thunderstorm activity. Some could be wet, but there could be some dry storms in there. We're expecting a lot of lightning out of these storms as they initially get going on Friday afternoon with erratic winds and new fire starts a possibility. This will most likely get upgraded to a red flag warning as we get closer to the event. Uh, and you can see on our visible satellite imagery some well-defined smoke plumes drifting aloft. Three fires right in a row just south of Venice, uh, near Venice and south of Venice, and that's all drifting towards the West Yellowstone area. That's uh, basically bringing the worst air quality in across the southern tip of Gallatin County. And then that Goldstone fire is really pumping up the smoke down through Lima just south of Dillon right now as well. And then this new fire up here near Wisdom, northeast of Wisdom, uh, the Beaver Creek fire burned about 1,000 acres. These are all lightning caused fires over the last week or so. And Again, we're expecting more thunderstorm activity by the end of the week into the weekend, which could bring more new fire starts. Some of that moisture is lifting up from the south, and that's a monsoonal flow, which is a classic for this time of the year. But as you look at the forecast model, high pressure building in for some hot weather for your Thursday and into Friday. Very weak cold front moving in. Uh, by the time we get into Friday morning, but the upper level low is building over Oregon and eventually working its way into Montana. That's what's expected to drive some of the showers and thunderstorms and cooler weather. That may help fire efforts as we get into the weekend, but this initial change from the hot weather tomorrow and Friday into the cooler weather over the weekend drives a lot of thunderstorm activity through the area, which could lead to some new fire starts. So this forecast model doesn't show a lot of widespread moderate to heavy rain. Some of you may pick up a fair amount, but in general, I do expect to see some areas get hit a little bit more, others picking up very little in the way of rainfall, which is uh, telling us that there's going to be some hit and miss thunderstorms in here. Some may have some brief heavy rain, others may not. So again, a little bit of rain is possible, but not widespread and heavy. We don't expect that scenario heading into the weekend. 86 degrees under some very smoky skies in Bozeman at Belgrade. That's been our high today. 45, a nice cool start to the morning. And you can see some of the thicker smoke off on the horizon there near Butte, and it's 87 so it's pretty hot out there this afternoon well above average for this time of the year and 9% relative humidity extremely dry in the lower level so 70s 80s and 90s right now across southwest Montana but you can see that across the entire state just a good mix of hot 80s and 90s this afternoon so tonight not much active weather we'll go with the generally clear skies but lots of smoke out there light winds planned variety of 30s 40s and 50s up in the mid 80s and a few low 90s are in there for tomorrow as well. But clouds begin to build late in the afternoon. There could be an isolated thunderstorm trying to form tomorrow, but it should be more uh, widespread by the time we get into Friday. 30s, 40s and 50s under clear and smoky skies and tomorrow clouds build late day storms. We'll track a few of those and I got 70s, 80s and 90s in there uh, for your Thursday. So the extent of forecast does have a downshift on the temperatures by the time we get in the weekend, but ahead of the storm, we're still expecting to get in the upper 80s with a good chance for afternoon thunderstorms. So off and on rumbles are possible Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Cooler temperatures will be nice. Highs down the 70s, but eventually back in the lower 80s next week. Lots of 40s and 50s at night for Butte. Your extended trends also hot for a couple of days, but afternoon rumbles start to move in Friday. That trend continues into the weekend and cooling down nicely for the first half of next week. Down to Dillon, upper 80s tomorrow, but mid 70s on Saturday. Watch for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Not all day. They'll be mainly in the late afternoon to early evening hours. And down on West Yellowstone, very smoky for the next couple of days. But you too should be planning for at least a few hit and miss thunderstorms Friday, Saturday, Sunday, along with some cooler highs and cooler lows. Those dips down into the low 80s and 70s, though, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, there'll be a little change of pace, and yeah. that actually brings a little higher humidity, and mm -hmm. that helps uh, calm the fire down a little bit. A little bit. All yeah. right, good. Thank you, Mike. And Nick joins us now. Nick, another battle going on. It's always, it seems like it's everywhere in Montana. The quarterback position is up for grabs at Western. We'll have a preview of it next.